it was a return to familiar surroundings. A wave there from Dave Thomas, back again at Loftus Road, so often sprinting down the Rangers' wing these past five years, but the recent move to Everton now makes him one of the threats to QPR today. And in a period of change at Queen's Park Rangers, also back at Loftus Road, here's their new man, Martin Busby, former Rangers player who went to Notts County, now making his first home appearance since his return. So this, then, is how Queen's Park Rangers line up today. Full-back Dave Clement passed a morning test, but Ian Gillard is out. John Hollings goes to sub with the number four shirt being taken by Mick Leach. Jerry Francis still out with hamstring trouble, but it's thought he will be fit next week. As for Everton, they're without midfield man Bruce Rioch, who now seems likely also to miss Scotland's game on Wednesday. His place at number six goes to Jim Pearson. Duncan McKenzie had a test on a bruised foot 35 minutes ago, but he's fit, plays at number 10. Don Masson, Stan Bowles, look at toe poke here for Shanks. And Givens just beaten to it by David Jones. Pearson playing a delightful ball there for David Thomas. Inside for Dobson. Now King, beautifully weighted there for Andy King. Pearson's coming up in there, Latchford's in there too! It's a good goal for Everton. And they've begun exactly where they left off at the start of last season when they came here and won handsomely. Andy King playing such a big part in it. There are the two men who've made it. King, who played a big part in it over on that uh, left touch line. Latchford with the header. Past Phil Parks just inside the post. Clement. Bowles letting it go very skillfully there for Easto. Bowles again. McKenzie. Stopped by Abbott. Short pass to Bowles. Masson right up there amongst the front men as well. Gibbons. Well, he's... Look at Wood right out there now. Has he given away the corner or a throw? No, it's a throw. And as Wood hurdles to get back, they've got that door. Good piece of play by Rangers. Good quick thinking. By Don Givens, who took that uh, throw quickly, and Masson, who'd gone up there, got the header in, but uh, unfortunately for Rangers, it wasn't uh, on target. Oh, Masson not quite controlling that one. Andy King sending Dave Thomas on his way now. This could be more trouble for Rangers. Latchford in the middle, and David Jones has come up as well. Latchford with the header. Oh, a beautiful goal. A second one for Latchford, and a second for Everton. And the architect is the man who so recently was a Rangers player, Dave Thomas. A great run down the left. Latchford beautifully placed for that uh, near post header. Wider Phil Parks. Gordon Lee doing a lot of shouting on that Everton bench. Well, it's been a good opening 18 minutes for him and his team. Must be the flick for Shanks. And Busby. Trying this time to get in behind that Everton defence. That's a good cross as well, but Pedrick's behind it. Easter with the header, straight though into the arms of Wood. Got up well at the far post there, uh, Peter Easter from Martin Busby's long, interesting cross. Easter, Bowles, Clement. High towards Don Givens, but even higher was Mark uh, Higgins. Oh, and a great goal by Peter Easto! Well, that'll put Rangers back in the game. By word, how they needed it. And it looked to be no great danger for Everton as Higgins got up so well. When it came to Easto, a lot of space for him, surprising that. Left foot hooked high into the net. And good play here by Martin Dobson. Masson after him. Here's McKenzie. Bit of space for him on the right. Got it across beautifully. Oh, and uh, Thomas on the far side. Couldn't quite finish it off. Superb piece of play, though, by McKenzie. That devastating sprint over maybe only three or four yards when it really mattered 
hard low cross Rangers in trouble and Thomas couldn't quite turn it in Dobson Pedrick Thomas Martin Dobson for Everton Latchford Masson right back there nearly caught out and a free kick given for handball by Abbott the ball in fact kicked at him by his teammate Don Masson and there wasn't much that uh, Abbott could do about it he was only about a couple of yards away but it gives Everton this free kick Dave Thomas and Martin Dobson the two men behind it three men in the Rangers wall Masson, Easto and Busby who came off and charged into Dobson giving away another free kick not only attacked the ball but attacked the man as well still three men those same three men in the Rangers wall and still the same two Everton men behind it Thomas chipping it now to the far side Andy King coming in and Latchford has got his hat trick Well, Rangers, who are dab hands themselves at free kicks, badly caught out by that one as it's floated out. And Andy King on the byline, turning it in. No trouble at all there for Bob Latchford. Needham to Masson. Needham again. Oh, he's giving it away to McKenzie. Now, can McKenzie make this four for Everton? And he can, and he made it look like child's play. And the Everton men are rushing towards McKenzie. And Dave Needham is the man who knows that it's his mistake that has virtually put this game beyond the reach of Rangers now. Needham's mistake. McKenzie on it like a flash. And he kept his cool superbly as Parks came out into the back of the net. Thomas. King. Oh, a nice touch there for Pearson. Masson's right in there. And uh, a free kick to Everton. An obstruction by Masson on Andy King. A yard outside the Rangers area. And could this mean more trouble? 4-1 down already. And a committee meeting there to decide how this free kick's going to be taken. Dave Thomas saying one way, Andy King saying another. Martin Dobson standing over the ball. And Queen's Park Rangers are waiting for what's going to be hit at them. Martin Dobson. Now, will something come of this? Might well put it there for King, and he played it into the wall. Pearson, and a great save! Well, Phil Parks has had to pull the ball out of the net four times this afternoon and hasn't had many opportunities to show what a fine keeper he is. Then he did, that shot by Pearson, and he was down well to push it away for the corner. So Thomas with the corner for Everton. Floated in there, and Pearson so very close indeed, having been foiled in one moment by a fine save from Phil Parks. Then got up well with the header, only to put it wide of the other post. Dobson. He's really been a cut above Rangers for most of the afternoon, except for that one little period just before half-time when it looked as though Rangers might come back at them. Dobson to King. That's a good shot. Oh, and another fine save by Phil Fox. Andy King, the former Luton lad, having a very lively game indeed and a good left foot shot. And Phil Fox just finger-tipping it over. What a game he's had, Andy King. Made the first and third goals. And here's Dave Thomas who made the second one. With the corner for Everton. The fists of Parks. Dobson. 
Now Latchford, not his fourth goal, surely, yes! And the fifth for Everton! Well, it's a riot. Four goals for Bob Latchford, no wonder he can afford to smile like that. The other one coming from Duncan McKenzie, which in itself was a juicy one. And Everton all smiles as that ball fell for Bob Latchford. He couldn't believe his luck. And he gave Parks very little chance. Nice balls. Turning him one way, turning him the other way. Can he do it yet again? Or is he going to run into trouble? Well, he's, no, he's giving him a few problems there. And a lovely little overhead, well saved, though, by George Wood from David Needham. Well, that was a bit of vintage bowls. And in the end, that little shuffled cross and an overhead by Needham and a good piece of reflex goalkeeping by George Wood. Masson, Busby. What a good ball by Busby for Easto. Oh, and he hit the post. What a terrible piece of luck for Peter Easto. Could Bowles turn it in? Free kick. But what a ball that was by Busby. It gave Easto the opportunity to show his speed and his uh, shooting skill. And he whacked it against the post. Now Bowles. Masson up there with him. Gibbons right in there. Always just favouring the keeper, though. And Wood very quickly to come off his line at all times. Here's Masson. And back again for John Hollins. And a touch by Easto, and my word, he couldn't have come closer yet again. Stan Bowles. A penalty. That time a foul by Jones on Bowles. A yard inside the box. Not too many complaints, I think, by Everton. It looked a penalty. And Roger Kirkpatrick had no doubts that it was worth a penalty. Now, Bowles and McKenzie having a slight word with each other to decide which side Stan Bowles will put it. McKenzie told him one way, and I'm not sure that I'd take Duncan's word for it. Let's see, though. Bowles versus George Wood. And a lot of encroachment. Wow, that was an amazing save by George Wood. Bowles took it. An enormous amount of encroachment on the left-hand side of the penalty area, though, but Wood down, and the penalty was saved. There's the final whistle. A fine victory for Everton. And their manager, Gordon Lee, just getting out of the tunnel. He really is getting this Everton side on the move. And nobody was more on the move, and I'm sure all Everton fans would agree, than their number nine, Bob Latchford, being mobbed on the pitch by one or two fans and now shaking hands with the referee. An astonishing day. And a black and depressing day for Queen's Park Rangers. And many of their fans uh, were still outside the ground when I left, looking a bit perplexed and asking such questions as, what on earth's gone wrong with our team? And uh, some stronger things as well. Frank Sibley, Rangers' young manager, agrees that his side was badly disorganised at the back yesterday and says that things can only get better when a fully fit John Hollins and Ian Gillard return. Uh, and Jerry Francis recovers from the hamstring injury. And that's likely to be good news for Rangers next week. Well, so much for Rangers then. Uh, Everton's Gordon Lee had no need of an inquest at all. His main point was that on his day, Bob Latchford was the best centre forward in England and that his second goal was one of the best he'd seen for years. Masson not quite controlling that one. Andy King sending Dave Thomas on his way now. This could be more trouble for Rangers. Latchford in the middle and David Jones has come up as well. Latchford with the header. Oh, a beautiful goal. 